With Pokemon Legends Arceus recently releasing, and it having been in the spotlight for the past year since it was first announced, a thought recently occurred to me concerning how Legends Arceus could actually be the first step in a huge plan for Pokemon's future. A plan which might just change everything we have come to know and expect from new Pokemon games. Let's check it out. <laughs> So, you might be wondering what I mean when I say that Legends Arceus could be playing a huge role in the future of Pokemon. Well, it's no surprise that people love the concept of Legends Arceus, and ever since the game was first announced, the general consensus amongst the fanbase is that we all definitely want more Legends games after Legends Arceus. There is so much potential for other games in the series that follow this same concept, and many fans started asking for this immediately after the game was revealed. With that in mind, it's probably going to be exciting for you to hear that it's possible that Game Freak already has this in mind. I believe there is a very strong chance that we will start seeing more games like Pokemon Legends Arceus in the near and distant future, and whether that comes in the form of more Legends titles or just different one-off titles entirely, I believe that Pokemon Legends Arceus could very well be the start of the future of Pokemon, and I don't just mean in terms of graphics or open world settings or things like that. I mean in terms of the very structure and nature of new Pokemon games themselves. You see, a significant problem with the Pokemon series recently came to light in Generation 8, the generation in which Legends Arceus released. This problem is that we are simply getting to a point now where there are too many Pokemon in existence. With the new Pokemon introduced in Legends Arceus, there are now over 900 Pokemon species, and the very nature of Pokemon games demand that that number continue to grow exponentially. After all, the single most fun aspect of Pokemon games is probably, at least for a lot of people, encountering the brand new Pokemon themselves that you've never seen before. This creates a little bit of a problem for Game Freak, as they obviously need to maintain that vital part of the Pokemon formula, but adding to the already gargantuan number of Pokemon that they need to program for, and make models and animations for, and everything else, is only going to worsen their workload at this point unless they come up with a plan. This is part of the reason why the National Dex was cut in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and it's something that Game Freak are going to have to continue to address moving forward before things get any more out of hand, because no matter how badly you may want the National Dex to return, it's simply not realistic anymore to demand that over 900 Pokemon be made available in the games, especially when that number is going to near if not surpass 1,000 when Generation 9 comes around. Sure, it would be great to have every Pokemon in a single game again, but in terms of what you can reasonably expect as a fan, those times are honestly behind us in my opinion. The number has just gotten too big to make that any kind of imaginable or reasonable, and Game Freak knows this, which is possibly why Legends Arceus has come into the picture in the first place. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a very unique Pokemon game, not only due to its premise, but also due to the fact that it is basically the only main series Pokemon game ever that is providing a completely brand new experience to players without introducing a bunch of new Pokemon. Sure, there are new Pokemon that were introduced in the game, but they're only a small amount compared to the near 100 plus that we get in new generations, and I think that this might be Game Freak's big answer to the huge Pokedex problem. I think they might start giving us Legends games or other games similar to Legends as a way to give us brand new experiences that are still really exciting without having to introduce a ton of new Pokemon with each new entry, which could effectively grow into an uncontrollable mess as we've stated if left unchecked for the next few generations. 
I mean, think about it. If Game Freak introduced a brand new generation just like usual, and everything was what we've come to expect from a Pokemon game, but they only gave us, like, 20 new Pokemon, everyone would most likely hate it. It would be viewed as boring and lacking of new interesting content, and people might even lose interest in Pokemon altogether because of that. However, as I said, they just can't keep introducing tons and tons of new Pokemon either, so the best way to go about things would be to do exactly what Legends Arceus is doing. Introduce an entirely new setting and even time period, which provides a completely new experience, but also doesn't require a ton of new Pokemon to be introduced to make it worthwhile. Of course, however, I'm not suggesting that new Pokemon games will stop introducing new Pokemon altogether, I just feel like each generation from here on out could be stretched out a little bit with more games like Legends Arceus that provide new, unique experiences without the need for a lot of new Pokemon. So instead of new generations coming around every three years, they might come out every five years instead, for instance. This would essentially buy Game Freak and the Pokemon Company more time, so that the total number of Pokemon doesn't grow quite as fast as it has in the past, and it would also give them more time to acclimate a large number of new Pokemon with each new generation that does come around. It's also very possible that, just like with Legends Arceus, we might get drip-fed new Pokémon more often, with only a small handful appearing in most games, and the new generation games like Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, etc. might also introduce a smaller number as well. This is actually something that has already been happening since Gen 6, as there hasn't been a Pokémon generation as of that time frame that has introduced more than 100 Pokémon. Gen 8 might get there with the new Pokemon from Legends, but since I'm writing this before the game comes out, I can't say for sure. Overall, this has actually been something that Game Freak have seemingly been preparing for for a while, and with Pokemon Legends Arceus, we are possibly starting to see the next phase of that plan finally play out. If we assume that this is true, however, what does that mean for the future of Pokémon? What can we come to expect within any given new generation? Well, like I said, whenever we get a new generation of Pokémon games, they might not introduce as many new Pokémon as before. This is something we've come to expect since Gen 6, as I said, so this wouldn't really be a big change at this point. However, another thing that might happen, which has started to happen more often in recent times, is that a generation's Pokémon might be introduced in small bits over the course of an entire generation, instead of all at once right at the beginning. Similar to what's been happening in Gen 8, actually, we might get a smaller number that is initially introduced at the start of the generation, and then the rest of the generation's Pokémon will be drip-fed to us in other games over the course of the next five or so years. Additionally, more games like Legends Arceus could start to pop up that serve to buy some extra time for the next generation in line, and allow us to have a brand new experience without requiring all the new Pokémon to make it happen. This might even be happening with Legends right now, as even though this is yet to be determined at the time of writing this, Legends release in 2022 might just push Gen 9 into 2023, or even beyond, pushing it out of that three-year window that is normally the case for new generations. Additionally, this could result in a ton of awesome new experiences for our Pokemon games, where we get introduced to a bunch of new, exciting, unique scenarios, which really would allow the Pokemon franchise to freely explore new avenues and truly come into its own in the modern era with some exceptional games, while still providing the more classic Pokemon experience with the new gen games, just at a slower rate than allows them to control the growth rate of the series, and particularly the Pokedex, at a more manageable pace. 
So don't be surprised if we do in fact see more Legends type games in the future, as new experiences like this might more or less become the standard as Game Freak and the Pokemon Company try to manage some of the challenges and growing pains that the series has come into contact with as we head into the future. What do you guys think about this idea though? Might we start to see more games like Legends Arceus that provide new exciting experiences as a way to compensate for a slower release of new Pokemon and Pokemon Generations? Personally, if this did happen, I think it would be a great way to go about things, as it allows Game Freak to address problems that need addressing, while also giving us Pokemon games like Legends that provide a completely new type of experience. It could honestly allow for some amazing games, in my opinion, if they continued to follow the Legends formula. Let me know what you guys think about this though in the comments below, and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new for more content. With that said, I will be back with another video very soon, and until then as always, thanks for watching, I love you all very much, and I will smell you guys later.